So what, what are some of the situations that somebody might uh, have to, uh, you know, that they, when they're looking at their driveway or they think they might have to repair it, what are some of the things they have to think? Well, uh, you know, if, if the driveway has some cracking in it or if it's raveling or breaking up or, you know, just generally falling apart, uh, someone might decide that it's time to think about getting a new driveway uh, or replacing the old one whichever the case may be. Um, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can take it out and replace the whole thing, or you can uh, repair and uh, sort of update the one you have. Uh, so what are the pros and cons for each way, Benji? Well, uh, the pros for, for instance, repair would be it's less expensive uh, if you're going to seal the cracks and do any patching or uh, asphalt replacement um, you know that would be uh, the first thing we do then you could either seal coat and or um, repave the driveway but uh, so cost is one one of the pros it it can be a, a little bit of a savings uh, on repairing a driveway versus replacing the whole thing and or repaving the whole thing uh, the pros for repaving or replacing is that you've got a brand new driveway. You can you're starting from scratch, so to speak. So, um, in either scenario, um, if it's done right, it'll it'll be it'll be fine. But um, it just depends on how well it's done and and what you do or the extent that you go. So um, I know that you've there's probably all different types of scenarios that people run into, but would you say as a general rule, if it's degraded or gone down a certain amount, would you say it's just best to go ahead and replace it, or can can any driveway be paved over with asphalt? Yeah, uh, as a general rule, if it goes down to the point where you don't have a good stable base, then it is certainly time to uh, think about replacing. Okay. There's, there's a point so, where it goes too far. All right. So um, obviously it's less expensive to just uh, uh, fill in the cracks and then uh, then pave over it. Can we uh, let's look at a couple of examples and um, if you could just tell me what you do in in each scenario, if that's okay. No problem. All right. Give me a second. Let me pull this up. Okay, so this is uh, actually the house that I'm about to be purchasing. So this, we were talking about this earlier. Um, as you can see, there's some, uh, I guess uh, it's degrading over time here, and it's got some cracks. Mm -hmm. um, what would you recommend for this particular situation? In this situation, we would generally recommend a, a complete asphalt overlay. Um, okay. In this situation, this is an actual concrete driveway. Uh, it's got some spalling and some cracking in it. Uh, not too terribly severe, but it looks to be stable enough to where you can uh, repave it, or, or I'm sorry, pave over it in asphalt. Um, and and from, from the picture here, that's what that's what we would certainly suggest. Um, okay. It would be, the other alternative would be to replace the concrete, um, since this is a concrete driveway. And that would be much more extensive, right? Much more extensive, much more expensive, and um, it, you know there, there's a, there's a time uh, deal in there as well. Where asphalt, for instance, if we were to do an overlay on this particular driveway, you're mm -hmm. looking at a one day or a half a day project. Uh, replacing this in concrete would be probably at a minimum uh, two days, one day to rip it out and one day to put it back, and then you've got a cure time of approximately five to seven days that you don't want sure. to drive on it, whereas asphalt, you could be using it the next day, if not that that evening. Okay, so um, how does asphalt hold up as compared to concrete, though? Well, asphalt, as a general rule, is, is only as good as the base you put it on. So if you've got a good stable okay. base, whether it's concrete, existing asphalt, gravel, uh, soil cement, whatever the case may be, uh, if you've got a good base, your asphalt should should last uh, a very long time. It's kind of hard to, to pinpoint the exact number of years uh, that you know it will last. But uh, I mean, we, I, I know of driveways that that we've paved 
20 plus years ago on top of concrete, just like this one, that mm -hmm. are, still in, are still in good shape. Assuming the homeowner and or business owner uh, maintains it properly. So what, what causes the driveways to, um, to crack and to, you know, split up? Well, uh, the elements, that is, you know, the weather, rain, snow, um, people that put, which I don't know if people still do this, but put salt on driveways, those are all things that can break down driveways over time. And then the other one is time. Uh, just like just like us, uh, as we age, we break down and yeah. driveways are the same way. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, um, so um, so what's the, the main things that we need to hit when somebody's, um, the main points that someone needs to remember when they're thinking about uh, repairing their driveway? I mean, we've already talked about a few of them. I just want to make sure they're all covered. Okay. Um, you know, one, one is it, is it, is it serviceable? Uh, that, that would be the first question you ask. In other words, can can we use it without uh, either damaging your cars or tripping over the cracks or uh, you know something like that? There's um, is it you know what 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 are the best ways to 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 address the situation? Whether it's crack repair, patching, seal coating, replacement, uh, and an asphalt overlay. Uh, there, there's quite a few scenarios that you need to consider uh, when you're thinking about doing this. And then lastly is what am I going to get as far as time uh, for this investment? In, in other words, is an asphalt overlay overlay going to be worth the, the extra money you have to pay for that in the long run? And usually it is. Uh, you know, you're going to, uh, again, going back to the base, if, if your base is good, then you're, you're going to get a good product. Uh, and then uh, cost, another another factor, uh, of course, sometimes the most important one. And uh, you know, is if it's going to cost you just a, a, a we'll say a thousand dollars to repair it, and you going to cost you three thousand dollars to replace it or, or repave it. Um, you know, some sometimes people's budget constraints a uh, sort of makes the decision for them. Oh well, sure. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's. Uh, is there anything else that you want to add? Um, not anything that I can think of, I guess. All right. Well, we'll uh, look forward to our next talk with you. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You.